Ladies and gentlemen, presenting head coach of Adelaide United, Mr. Marco Kurtz, and captain of Adelaide United, Isaiah Sanchez, ahead of tomorrow night's FA Cup final. Uh, questions to Marco first, and then we'll move on to Isaias when you are ready. Oh, hey, you've got to be happy there's no VAR tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> you've got extra linesmen, so that's something off your mind. Um, we will see. So I'm happy with that. We are. No, I think tomorrow we will have a special game, two strong teams, and I think also uh, a very good and strong referee. And that's it. Uh, the weather is fine, sun is shining. I think you see the pitch, uh, the, the grass is beautiful. I think it's all done for a great final. So how's, how's the injuries looking like? Obviously George is not going to be around. Oh, <coughs> Uh, who's coming back, who, who's maybe not going to make it, Bowling. Uh We will see tonight in our last session, but we have a lot of question marks behind Baba, behind uh, Boland. Um, uh, Milosnic is available, uh, Kito is also a question mark and George is out. Um, I will see after the game and then I name the squad for the, for the cup. So you're training tonight, you said? Yes. Is that different to the routine? Um, a little bit different because we decided to train together. Then we have a dinner like before each uh, game. And that was the decision that we train and have a dinner. And um, for me, it's better to train in at the night than to train in the morning and then uh, meet us together in, for dinner. It's too long and I think it's good to come together to have uh, yeah, a good time by the dinner and then we meet us tomorrow again. Marco, are you more inclined to take any risks with injured players given that it's, it's a cup final, you know, there's a trophy on the line, so if a guy is maybe 80, 90 percent, might not play him for a regular league fixture? Um, I think. Uh, I'm the person I, I speak always about players that are available and I think for sure we will have tomorrow a strong, a strong uh, squad and we are ready for, for a big fight and we want the trophy and it's up to the players they are available or not but the players they are on the pitch I believe, I trust and I know they fight for every inch and they want to win the trophy. And what did you learn? Of course, you can find after each game some weaknesses, but also some strengths. I think uh, we um, we know that they need maybe one chance to score a goal. They have uh, a lot of good key players in their roles. The uh, founder is a. Uh, a beautiful striker, Linkovic is a perfect player. I think it's up to us if we play against very compact, aggressive against them, then they will have problems. And although we must find the spaces behind the lines, but I, I'm looking forward. I think uh, Sydney is the favourite, but uh, we are, yeah, we are ready. You mentioned after that game, you need two goals to beat, beat Sydney, so. How are you going to recast your, your attack with uh, Blackwood out? When, when I think on, on, in the first game, in the first round, we, we had after the first goal two or three good moments to, uh, yeah, to, to, to finish, but we didn't find the final pass, we didn't find the right moment and that we, uh, we must do better uh, tomorrow, but I'm, I'm positive. Is it an advantage that Sydney uh, won't have Sim De Jong, who uh, had an injury in the, in the derby the other night? He seems a, a very good player. Yes, I saw the scene, and for the boy, it's um, a worse moment. That's the same like Georgie, it's the, the other page from our job. Um, but uh, from my side, all the best for the boy. But I think it's more a problem for, for the coach from, from Sydney, it's not my problem. So, I know you didn't like the fact that you had to play the cup final so soon after the A-League game, but are you advantaged by the fact that you haven't had to travel for nearly three weeks, where Sydney FC have come here twice in a week, have had an ex 
one less day's rest. Can you take advantage of, of that? I think they are fit enough to play uh, two games in a row with a short break. I think they have a lot of experience to play finals. Um, we did the same last season and we, we, uh, we were ready in this game, also in the overtime. I think uh, they are fit, it's not, it's not an advantage. Um, but for us this, this season very special because um, I'm, I'm very proud about the boys because we reached the final again um, after the last season in a row, two times in a row, it's very special. And now to have a, a home game. Uh, Cup final in Heimarsch in front of our fantastic supporters is very special and um, I think we, we can enjoy every second tomorrow. Does what happened in the last year's Cup final make the boys more hungry this year to, to go on there? Um, no, my boys are in every game hungry but uh, also last, season, uh, last year we played a very good final, it was very close. And, but we are hungry for, for the trophy, of course. It's for us maybe the next step in our improvement to, to win the trophy. Do you what tell them to go a little bit easier on the ball boys this year? Pardon? Do you tell them to go a bit easier on the ball boy if that happens later in the game? No, I said to the ball boys, stay like a man, not to <laughs> <laughs> What does the FFA need to do to, to improve or to get the, the VAR right, do you think? I think it's not the moment to speak about the VRR. We have now a good, a great uh, game in front, and let us speak about the, the game. It's uh, yeah, uh, I think two strong teams, and uh, we are all looking forward for for the day tomorrow. Marco, you said before, Sydney FC are favourites. You're happy to be underdogs, even though you're at home. You'll have uh, 15,000 Adelaide fans behind you as well. Um, when I said they are the favourites, I think with the experience. Yeah, they played a lot of finals, they uh, won a lot of trophies. Uh, in this case they are a step uh, in front of us. Uh, but I think we saw in the, in the league, we saw last season, every game was very close. And I think we can beat them, but we have to do a great job and each player must find his uh, best performance tomorrow. Did George have surgery? Did he have a I think today. I think today he, he has or he had the surgery today. I'm not sure. Ryan, any chance? Kid Hope, any chance? I said before, yes. I, I will decide um, after the training, but Kid is after two, two and a half, three weeks back uh, for two days in the team training. It's a short. Um, it's a short training with a team. I, I'm not sure because I, I must also look for, for the future and <coughs> Kido is a sprinter and when the sprinter had a m muscle injury you must be careful because a re-injury means uh, a longer term. Just looking at the future, obviously your captain, he could <coughs> become an Australian at any day. I don't know what's going to happen. And obviously, you've got your injury problems with Baba. Would you be looking in the market for maybe a potential to come in? I think a lot of question marks. The, the first is Isa is a Spanish guy, not uh, Australian. Uh, we wait for the ceremony. Um, the next is uh, how. how um, how big is the injury from Baba? Um, that's the next, and then we don't know if you can sign a new player. You need also for a good new foreign player money. Three points. Uh, I cannot give you the answer. What, what's it got more to do with him becoming an Australian financial or finding the right player? All three. <laughs> exactly in the row. Yeah. Who's, who, who's going to score your goals? I know you touched on it before, Marco, but who scores the goals for Adelaide United now with your two sort of main target men injured? Who are the blokes that you think can step up and put the ball in the back of the net? I think tomorrow Jakobsen, Elsie and uh, Mickey Marone. And <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But it's allowed to score a goal as a defence player. And Isa, like this, I think. <laughs> no pressure, but... One day, one day. No, every, every boy can score a goal, it's allowed. Not only the offensive players, 
when we have free kick, when we have a set piece, it's allowed for the defense player to score. Well. You must be cursing your luck though, Marco. That cut both those boys come back, get on the bench, and then that same game re injure themselves. It yeah. must be cursing your luck. Mm, that's uh, the job. Uh, I'm not uh, surprised about. Mm. Sometimes you have a good run. See, for example, my, my um, colleague from Sydney, I think he uh, gave uh, the young rest. Then he gave him a couple of minutes for game practice and he's also injured. It's, it's uh, a part of the, of the game. How do you think Ben Halloran's like, coping? He's usually a wide player, probably the best running at the goal, but sometimes you play him centrally just because you don't have, have strikers. Do you think he's been coping well with that sort of little bit out of position for him? The best position for um, Ben is uh, the winger position. But sometimes you must find uh, the best solution for the team. And then you put the players um, in a position they can play. And they can play it well, but not as good as, for example, their main position. But I think uh, Benny uh, played the last uh, games uh, at the strike very good. Question to say yes. So after, after last year, what would it mean for the club to Get the cup this year. For us, it will be a uh, very important thing, not only for the player, for, for, the, for, the, for the club, for, for the fans, for the city. I think it will be a big achievement for all of us. And uh, that because we have uh, really hard work during the whole pre-season and we achieved to arrive to this moment. And I hope that tomorrow we can lift the trophy. Just the same as I asked Marco about the ground one meeting, what did you what did you learn as, as players from, from that clash in Sydney? Uh, we know the, their football style, uh, we know their players, uh, but uh, look, for me, in a final, everything can happen, and uh, in football, every game is different, so I cannot say that uh, we'll be completely the same game that in two weeks ago. Uh, tomorrow, we can expect that totally different game because it's a final and never know what, what is going to happen. You're just hoping we'll get a game where we're talking about the football afterwards rather than the referees? Yes, obviously. Uh, we want to speak about football always. This is the, 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 main, the main thing and the most important. And uh, hopefully tomorrow we can speak about how good was the game and not anything else. What are you expecting from the fans tomorrow night, is it? Uh, I'm expecting that they help us and they support us, like always. Uh, but I know that with their support and with their help, we can beat anyone and we are stronger. With them, we are stronger, 100%. So you've been here five years now, you've won everything. The cup, obviously the premiership and the grand final. Is there any other goals you think you could have scored in the competition? No. Uh, I think you know how I play. i always hungry for, for win more and more and more. I'm nowhere. I'm not, I'm not happy never with only one win. I win to win more trophies, uh, especially now that I am a captain of the, of the club. Uh, I would like to lift the trophy for myself. Uh, I would like to lead the team to, to lift a trophy. And I think it's a special moment for everyone to, to lift a trophy. I think it's very difficult to, to win a trophy in your career and we have the chance again tomorrow. And I think it's very special for everyone. So when, are you, when will you become an Australian? It's been going on now for yeah, six I months. I still don't know. Uh, uh, I'm hoping to get uh, good news soon. But my focus now is in my game tomorrow. And from there, we will see what happens with my citizenship. But uh, my focus is 100% for the game tomorrow. You need everything to go right, as Marco said. But how much of an advantage do you think it will be being here at High Marsh and, and the crowd? Yeah, uh, he said we need uh, everyone to perform very good tomorrow because they have a strong, a strong team. Uh, but we are hungry and uh, we know that uh, we play our best football and in front of our fans, uh, I think we have a big chance to win the trophy tomorrow.